Hello people, how are you going? Today I'm going to show you the commemorative 10 ruble coin from Russia. These coins commemorate different cities and towns in Russia. And they have been going since 2012 and they are still going. Of course there's so many towns in Russia, they could probably go for, I don't know, few years yet, probably 20 or 30 years. Anyway, if you have a look close up at each individual coin, this is Opel. Now I'm not going to pronounce all of them because I have no idea but I've written them down what they look like in, uh, in Cyrillic and Latin and you can pronounce it as you want. Okay, these show just the coat of arms of each of the towns. And they are quite an interesting issue. Yeah. This is probably a continuation of the regions of Russia, which are issued in 2005 and finished in 2011. And they are in bimetal coins. And a few of those like Chechnya are actually hard to get. Only like 100, 200,000 minted. But these ones here, each coin is a mintage of 10 million. Okay, and they're quite easy to get on eBay. Now there are other commemorative coins, 1, 2 and 5 rubles. And they have a 10 ruble coins. Because as you know, a lot of the large countries, actually all of them, Canada, United States, Australia, Ukraine, Russia, China, they issue a lot of commemorative junk, especially in precious metals, silver, gold, palladium, platinum, and also a lot of base metal coins. And I'm not too sure if these actually circulated, but if, um, because the mintage is high, they issue, more, and they issue about five or something a year. Ten million each, so that's like 50 million coins, so yeah, they're probably for circulation. Population of Russia is about 140 million, so that should satisfy demand. In here I've written down, in order that the quarters of coins are placed in, this really can the Latin. If you want to pause and try to really read the damn things, or well, if you want, you can go to Numista. You can go to Numista and you can actually look up the coins yourself. Now, here is the uh, reverse of the coin. And if I pick it up, you'll see it has. Um, in the center of the zero has the security feature. Goes from well, let's see if I can get it. Yeah, see so it has ruble there. If I turn it another way, oh, there you go. Has ten there. Okay, so that's even better than the Japanese coins, which just says um, yen in the center. If I look at this, this is just a normal coin that's issued. It does the same thing. So it has ru ruble there. Okay, you can see it there. And if I turn it another way, it has, you can just see it there, 10. Oh, fuck this fucking shit. Well, you can just see it there, there's 10. If we look at the side, they're actually the same. Okay. There's milled, fine and coarse milling, and flat areas. 
which I quite like that million. So if you're into Russian coins, I'd actually um, recommend that you buy these coins. Russian coins are not that expensive and there's a good variety. So I hope you like this video and let me know if you actually collect these coins down below. Okay, thank you, bye bye.